Yeah, I'm good. That's right. Good to see you. Yes. Hello, yeah. Mr. SE3. How are you doing? How are you doing, brother? He's from China. So we talk. Oh, to right. Yeah, Hello. Welcome. Video. Welcome. Hello. Yeah. Is it your first time in Speaker's Corner? Ah, uh, yeah. So oh. yes. I just here to have a. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. He said, "I, I have an appointment in." Yeah, but, but I've got the point, so good. Okay, good. thank you. All right, take it. Oh, yeah. no, you oh, no, run away because of me. No, no, because uh, we were talking, he's got an appointment to go to, so we were just talking. Oh. He said he's from China. Yeah. And then uh, uh, we were discussing about um, Chinese, what does it mean to be Chinese? Yeah. Um, and um, what, what are the, what does he think of the six types of Chinese that are, um, held by the British state and he said that um, he sees himself as pure Chinese and not any of the others right. and then we then after we discussed this we started to move into well how do we think that they're being used and then that was a discussion it's a short little discussion nice and crisp and sweet and then he had to shoot off and what's your views on that then anyway how they're being used um, well as, as far as I've understood what I think, I can only guess, but I'm, I don't have the authority. I suspect that they're being used in the management of immigration on one level. So the management of immigration, that means who's coming into the country, uh, identifying who they are. And then uh, the next thing is, um, the next level is that once they're here in the country, um, where should they be placed? Uh, who would you put them with? It's a bit like a, a garden. So I, 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 my research. How you doing? All right. <laughs> um, it's like it's like the running of a garden. They, they, certain plants grow better next to certain plants. So so these are like flowers. So just like you have um, the, the aristocracy and the elite um, like to have their beautiful gardens. Um, arranged and designed for them. Uh, this is this is like uh, this is like a design of a social design. So they're just, just displaying uh, the, the beauty of their garden and the different flowers and, and how they keep the different flowers and different plants in different places uh, for, for management purposes. So that's, it's the managed garden. So groups of people are group together with other groups of people that's in right, areas. That's right, that's so right. So it's, it's the same philosophy because um, there, there was a time when, well, it's still going on now, they manage animals the same way. When, when you have a zoo or you have um, or, 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 or a farm, right, you may decide to put the pigs over there and then put the cows in that section. Or you might put the dog, you know, you, you choose. So they know how to manage a farm. So the same skills, they know how to manage a, a garden to what, to what they want. So it's the same philosophy, it's the same mindset, management. Management of people, management of animals, management of plants, um, and so on. That, that's the roots of it. I suspect, because I'm not, Part of the elite, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you a police officer? No, 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 I'm not a police officer. Okay, so there's, there's uh, a six you, of them. This is, a crit is this criticism or what do you do here? Is this criticism? Well, I can't criticize because I'm trying to figure out what other concept would you. Yeah. There's, there's more of them. There's more. You take take all of them. There's six of them. All right. Got that one? So this is the British police kind of categorizing or categorizing people, right? Yeah. I'd say it's more. It's above the police. Above. This information is handed down to the police. It comes from the chief police officers' um, yeah, association, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, 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 and that to be a member of that, as far as I understand, it's only people who have retired. So, if you're a chief police officer and then you retire, then you then you, then you get into this group. So, this this the source of this is somewhere between the chief police officers and the Home Office. So I, I haven't been able to find out who, whether it's the Home Office. When I, when I try and speak to the Home Office, they say, oh, talk to the police. When I try and talk to the Chief Police, they say, oh, you've got to talk to the Home Office. So I don't know the, the actual... Yeah, well... Yeah, anyway, I'd like to know who, when they were designed, uh, 
who put them together, what, who was around the table when they put these together. Because obviously there was, a, there was a meeting and there's, there must be minutes of the people that attended that meeting and they must have decided exactly what, you know, why is there seven? Why isn't there 13? Or why isn't there 10? You know? Because the human brain can't remember more than seven things in one go. Otherwise, you forget it again. Is that fact? So, if you manage people, it makes it, you need to make it easy for okay, them. Okay. Well, so, so where's that idea come from? Twenty different, let's say, twenty-eight different categories for the Europeans. So, how would you figure out as a British police officer which European group are you belonging to? <laughs> right. Okay. So this is problem yeah. number one. So problem number two. Yes. If you work in security, for example, you, there, you know there's difference between Arab guys or Asian guys. Okay. Because they have a different potential of aggression. Oh, they do. In but, reality, well, what, this is really interesting. What, it's a reality. You, uh, oh, hold, hold I wouldn't it. say it's black oh, or white. Slow down, slow down, yeah. slow down, slow down. Yeah. You're making some very interesting statements. No, it's just so, a how, practical oh, experience. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I whoa. keep my head right. Right. You're making some very interesting statements. So, um, the, the source of that information you're saying from your own experience? Yeah. Because you've worked in security? Yeah. Wow, and you're saying that Asian people behave differently from Arab people? Well, it depends on which culture you... If you do security in London, right. it might be completely different if you do security, let's say, West End, or you would do it somewhere outside. It's a difference if I do work it in Germany, or I would do it in Italy. So, it's really different. So, oh, for so you, example, are you in, saying that Asians from, behave no, differently for example, in Italy? For example, in Germany, right. if you would be a security, let's say, a bouncer at a, a, a club in Berlin, right, and you would be in the East, then there's a huge Vietnamese um, community okay. which are really into illegal cigarette trading. So these people are organized like a mafia. Okay. So they would be as dangerous as maybe Russians oh. in that area. Okay. So, But this all is not the same concept here in London. I okay. have no clue how it would be in London, but it's different. Right. So, and in other areas, for example, Western part of Germany, you would be very cautious if you have an Arab group because they, they can be very dangerous, especially these kind of families, kind of illegal organizations working like a family, 150 member, 1,000 members, which we have in the Western part of Germany. Okay, have you so, worked in Germany? Yeah. Are you German? Yeah. So okay. I just can tell you how it is on the continent in this particular country. I have no clue how it's in the UK. But right. I, okay. I would say police works everywhere the same, and you need to make it simple to not to discriminate, but to categorize. But, so as a German, yeah. Um, what system do they use in Germany? Because this, this is a British system. Yeah, but this is a police system. I didn't work in the police environment. Yeah, but private you worked in security in Germany. Yeah, yeah, okay. Security. So what system do they use for identifying people? Oh, well, if you work in the private, private security environment, yes, um, you know your colleagues, and they know when you say the Russians or the Arabs, and then you know exactly what you need to do. Oh, so, 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 so you don't have codes no. for the different types of no, people? No, no, no. You, you just say typical, Russians? This is typical British because they code everything. Every, <laughs> right. Everywhere is policy, everywhere is a concept, everywhere is this kind of coding. Right, right. But in, in other European countries, you just know which cultural group they belong to and you name it, and then you know it. And then you are prepared for it. Oh, so for so example, if you have a Russian, <coughs> Russian issue, they will bring 100 police officers because they know even a group of 10 Russians in Germany are prepared to take out a weapon. Sorry? To take out a weapon, a knife or a gun. Really? Yeah. Wow. So therefore, it's different. So for example, here in London, I would say it's completely different. I guess, because you are not into weapons at all, except your military. Yeah, so it's different. Interesting. Just to let you know. So anyway, it's not all about discrimination. That's what I wanted to say. So what, so, okay, so what do you it's mean? It's not about discrimination. Okay. It's just to, you need to organize security somehow. Okay. You need to so, use yeah, words for but, it. So has discrimination got anything to do with security in your view? Oh, as that's a, a good question. Pardon? Good question. <laughs> that's the question. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> that's so hold on a second. Security <laughs> discrimination, that's very tricky. Uh, that's right. It's very tricky. You need to have ethical education. Ooh, most oh, hold it. Uh, you need ethical education. Education. Yeah, you, most of them, they don't. They just have police. Oh, stuff right, there. so let's, let's slow this down. Let's slow this down. No, you've worked in security, you worked in Germany. So, the way to manage the issue of um, discrimination and its relation to security is that you need to have ethical training. 
yeah. and that uh, that ethical training will enable you to manage the tension between discrimination and security. Yeah, Is that what you're saying? I would say yes. Because we, Interesting. And it's very expensive. They, they don't get the training on it because it it's be very expensive. No, it's additional training. No one has budget for. That's why they don't have it. Oh. Interesting. Uh, Interesting, but it should be. That's my personal opinion. Right. Because so, I, uh, if you, well, if, hold it. As a but, human being, okay, I understand. Understand. So, without like ethical a, training, um, <laughs> is, is ethical training is ethical training necessary in order? And I've said the word necessary because you just said it's expensive. Okay, ethical training is expensive, what but is, is it necessary in order? to achieve uh, proper security without discrimination or with discrimination. Oh. Let's put it that way. You do it 20, 21st, second, 21st century style security. 21st century style security? Yeah. Okay. And you are still stuck in the 20th century concepts. Stuck? Yeah. Because you, you just mentioned in the beginning, the old folks are still in charge making concepts. So we should have young girls doing it. Or maybe social welfare social welfare workers, I don't know the English term for it. People social are, welfare, yeah. yeah. So yeah. people who do social groundwork for homeless, let's make them the code for the security. They know exactly how to make a difference between a homeless or a criminal. Because you need to have an educated eye for it, because both are on the street. And uh, the ethical code of conduct, if you would be trained on it, you don't make a difference, you don't make a difference if someone is black or has black hair or brown or whatever skin. You focus on the subject of is this person doing right. something criminal. So how do you recognize a Russian? When he's doing security in Germany, Why how, how could you recognize a Russian from a different from a German? From accent. Speaking. Yeah, but what if they don't speak? Well you don't know. Oh, in right, the right. Because the Russians look like Germans. Yeah, yeah. But so you just go by uh, language. But uh, how about the Arabs? Black hair. Ah, the black, black hair. hair. Okay. The Southern European East. Okay. But you don't know so if it's an Arab or if it's an Iranian or it's a Syrian. It's right, like, oh, right, right, right. But you love them together because of the, the hair well, and eye colour. Yeah. And skin tone. Yeah. Right, okay. But, uh, well, you, over here. You will they, also make a difference because we both are slightly different. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, oh, over here, it's called. The official language is called uh, visual ethnicity. Visual? Visual ethnicity yes yeah, so you look that up on the internet term, that's, the, that's the official term visual ethnicity all right visual ethnicity that's the that's the that's the visual uh, this okay. these are the visual ethnicity codes okay all right got so, it. so so got so, it. so it links up with what you're saying yeah. uh, that you you wouldn't be able to tell a russian just by looking at them yeah. while you whilst you was in germany yeah, you yeah. couldn't you use working in security you couldn't tell the difference but you you went by their their language since they opened their mouth so I would name it then um, Code 1B because it is white East European. Right, okay, okay. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, right. Well, anyway, well right, they, right. They, 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 they... Ah, here we are. Yeah, here, that's right. These are, these are the ethnicity codes. Yeah. Maybe a solution for the 20th century, instead of having groups as in races, um, they did definition codes for aggressive, slightly aggressive, potentially aggressive, weapon, not weapon. Oh. This could be codes. So you have a group of you have a situation. Someone calls someone else to come in. Yes. And instead of using, I have a racial groups category group four of Asian here. Okay. I would say I have a group of potential very aggressive organized in a group or a single aggressive person organized with weapons without weapons. So different codes. <laughs> okay. So how do you decide that? I don't know. Just work experience. But based on your look, you're going to decide how coming. Ah, that's, that's what, what I was coming no, 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 to. No, no. That's what I was coming you, to. You, you, can, you can see, let's say, this you've got a group. And uh, if with a certain life experience, you might know there's a potential of a very dangerous situation right now. Potential is a very big span. Yeah, that's right, potential. Yeah, yeah, you see, because yeah, yeah. the person hasn't done anything, but you say, oh, that looks like an Arab. Oh, 